behind that back line, just trying to frustrate the opponent, try and make those team fights, try and spread his opposition apart, make them come looking for him, and then when they are searching, that's when the rest of his team are just going to pile through, and that's when, when they are going to go for their pushes. Well, we'll have to see if that is going to be the case here as we enter our hero selection phase and see who's going to be going for what kind of strategies here. Obviously, the red side is going to be attacking first here, which will be the likes of Amazing Team. But TLR on this defending side, opting to go for a fairly standard composition. Interested to see the Winston, though, on defense. Yeah, the Winston coming out from Keys there. We've seen compositions change slightly again throughout the meta over the week. Obviously, there was the three tank, three support, or the, uh, the one DPS that kind of happened. We've now seen people favoring just the two tanks now, having two supports, but we do see that um, it does look like Amazing Team are going to kind of stick with this three tank combo. Um, but Lotte God at the moment with Reaper rather than the Genji, which is interesting. He's going to let Sky move over to the Genji. And Sky had success with Genji last, last week as well, so I'm not entirely su surprised. But if you've got both of those guys running around with DPS characters, you are going to be a, a little bit worried. You certainly are. I think we did just see Ninja Fuya disconnected for a second there. He's not picked a hero just yet, so I'm not sure. We may have to go for a restart on this one unless he picks a hero soon and actually kicks things off. But so far the push is still going to be going on. His team seems to be playing on and he has picked up Sayu now, so we should be A-OK -okay to kick off with this game regardless. And here we go. I'm curious to see how these guys are going to decide to attack this one and obviously the positioning of keys is going to be crucial here on this Winston. I'm curious to see what his goal is going to be here. Sky already under a little bit of pressure and keys proving that Winston is going to be a crucial factor. Stops that flank coming out. Yeah, he is indeed. And actually, it was just the two tanks coming from Amazing Team, and we did see them going for three each time last week. So it's nice to see that they have changed up with the meta. Winston just doing work here, and Zaya. I, I love the use of Zaya being able to just control the opposition team with that Graviton Surge. But at the moment, Low Tier God is the man, is just trying to get DPS into yeah. everything. We've seen the Ana, like ultimately, Nano Boost come on to Reaper a lot in later games from pro teams now, so yeah. we'd be expecting that to happen. Well, here we go. The Nano Boost is going to be on Zaya this time. James, he jumping into the back line as he gets the Graviton Surge and will melt down those players. Wing actually gets credit for two of those kills. And that is going to be just about a wipe onto Amazing Team as Lotte God tries to escape, but actually will be able to get a kill before he goes down. Wing finally finishes him off. Wing on apparently the aggressive Ana right now. Not often that you see them picking up the actual kill credit themselves, but fantastic little bit of defense to start things off from TLR. Yeah, it was an interesting choice to, to uh, nano boost up the Zaya on JMC, but it, he had the Graviton Surge ready and he was probably like, well, look, I'm, I'm pretty charged up here. I can do a lot of damage. We can make sure that we can hold Amazing Team off for a little bit. As Sky is literally just trying to find any way around now, as we do see that Reaper's going to start the Death Blossom to get four kills there, and this will be the push that Amazing Team needed, and they will look to just clean up everybody else now as they will be pushing this towards the next checkpoint. Absolutely. Well, they've managed to get that first checkpoint, and this is what we were talking about. This was the moment where a lot of teams really struggled to actually get past that very first bit and open that gate, but now... If last week is anything to go by, this should be a, a little bit simpler for them, getting towards this next checkpoint. However, you know, when you get to that second bridge, it can always be a difficult one to push on through. But it was the, I feel like the, that final third of this map, no one seemed to struggle with last week. So maybe that's going to be changing up because when you look at the professional scene, that's a completely different story. So we'll have to see how this one's going to pan out. Interesting defensive positioning from TLR, all hanging out on this high ground, making sure that they have that advantage when it comes to the aim battles. Flair's just looking for whatever shots he can get onto his opponents right now. But all in all, the payload actually getting a lot of distance and here comes the defensive attack. TLR jumping on into this one. Graviton Surge actually comes down but doesn't suck anyone in. Keys is the only one. Can Scout grabs one onto Orange G. Orange E even, as Lotier God jumps straight back on into this fight. Nano Boost is going to go down onto him. Should be able to wipe up the floor with a few more players right now. He's looking for Anno and won't be able to find it. Can't wow. quite land his shots, actually. And Lotier God might have to just run away from this one. He's going to go down. TLR just wiped the floor with Amazing Team in that fight. Yeah, I feel like Amazing Team needed to wait, and wait until Lotier God had that ultimate with Reaper because you can just use that Death Blossom really effectively because you are just so quick and do so much damage. Instead, he was trying to take down that Anna and he just couldn't catch her whatsoever. She was just weaving, dodging, 
getting out of the way of any of his shots, and he just wasted all of his fire, all of that nano boost. But I do love that Sky and Lotia God, they were just kind of pushing up, they were trying to be a nuisance, but the high ground advantage was massive, actually, for TLR. Yeah, it really was, and that it was that moment where they all jumped down, but that ultimate coming out from Ninja Fu, you just did not touch anyone, he couldn't manage to pull anyone in. And that was pretty much going to be the fight going their way. Sky does have his Dragon Blade available. We'll see how he's going to opt to use that one. It looks like he's going to be going in here. Gets a couple of headshots. Should be able to finish off that Ana, but actually can't quite find his targets right now. And a couple of good Zaya shields is going to completely deny everything. TLR are just wiping up once again. Sky finds himself another couple of kills, and he's just looking for low tier god to finish things off. Wing with yet another bit of kill credit. He's going to be topping eliminations at this rate. But TLR, honestly, looking impervious. Yeah, JMC with his eye was just uh, unbelievable then. He, he just managed to bubble every single target that Sky was trying to get as his Genji with that Dragon Blade. So that's always frustrating as a Genji player, just not being able to get anything with your ultimate. And that is three ultimates now wasted for amazing teams. And they need to do something. They need to group up and try and use one of these ultimates effectively. As we do see the Earth Chats are coming down, but the Nano Boost also returns. And that's Nano Boost from both teams now as the teams get into battle. But the Sleep Dart will come out to stop Reinhardt there. Yeah, and it's on low tier. God, once more, he's going to be the real damage dealer when you're looking in the eyes of amazing team. They're trying to make this happen. They managed to get three kills for themselves, but they've not actually been able to stick to the payload. This is the thing. Here comes the Death Blossom though, and that's another couple picked up. This should be a good bit of distance on the payload, because the most important thing is those kills were staggered, which means there won't be a full six-man defense at any point in the near future. Even if they can contest, this should get to the checkpoint, and there it is. So, now we're moving into the final third of the map, and I'm curious to see what TLR have got to bring out here. They've got to last for another two minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, this is going to be interesting because they've kind of been trying and they failed a few attacks, but they've been getting that last one, especially with low tier god, just getting that nano boost, pushing in, using that damage effectively, which is what we've seen a lot of the pros do at the moment, using the Reaper rather than the Reinhardt. They've clearly been watching, they've clearly been adapted to the meta. They looks like they've taken a look at their VODs from last week as well, because they look like a completely different side at the moment. And TLR are going to need to do a lot to hold them off. You can see they're going for the high ground advantage once again, and you're just going to wait for them to go for... Well, there's the Graviton oh, Surge coming at, in. They're all sucked in, but where will the damage come from? They've got from? the Blender going on because Sexy is in the back line. Also, I just love that he's called Sexy, but that is going to be three kills going their way in trade for just one. Wing and can scout the last two. Can scout can't even land the charge though and he's going to be going down in this corner low tier god picks up that final kill grabs one onto wing as well the respawns are coming through but once again they are staggered and this payload is so close to home already they're going to be able to push this one in nobody can even get here to contest in time keys tried to get there but he gets shut down and well three points on the board amazing team making sure that tlr know they're here to make a statement i'm not sure amazing team even got to a final checkpoint on payload last week so they look crazy right now. Uh, I want to just touch on Orangey right at the end then. He just pushed into the spawn, used his Earth Shatter perfectly just to stop anyone pushing in. No one was going to stop him. This is looking good and it looks like low tier god might go for May. We saw this last week as well and he was doing some great things, managing to wall off Reinhardt and kind of getting him away from the rest of his team so they could take him down and really just control the fights and choose how and when they wanted to take those battles. We will see an Ana coming out of flares once again and just the two tanks which is kind of what is happening right now with the meta. But TLR, they did go for the three tanks. That's what worked for them last week, so I'm not entirely surprised. Yeah, absolutely. And take a look at that beautiful shot of scenic Dorado on those Mexican hills. But well, let's see what TLR are going to be able to do for themselves on the attack here. As uh, the defenders hit the map. Amazing team going to be setting up on this one. Let's take a look at their composition. May coming out as well as, I mean, fairly standard. Otherwise, they didn't. They've basically swapped out the May for the, the Winston that was on the TLR defense. They've replaced that with a May. To be honest, I actually prefer the May in this composition to I the really Winston. really do. And we're really starting to see May kind of being introduced to this meta just because they she can control the pace of the game and really just use those walls to full effect. And Blizzard is a fantastic ultimate as well because it can really just slow down any opponents. And actually, it can be an all right counter to Nano Boost as well. If you've got a Reinhardt charging at you, you throw down a Blizzard, you can just freeze him to the ground and he can't do any damage at all. So I really feel like Amazing Team have watched a lot of 
uh, other competitions, big Overwatch tournaments right now, because we saw Fnatic using yeah. exactly this competition. So they really know their stuff, and TLR are going to have to respond well now. Yeah, and I mean, if you're really wanting to improve at this game right now, if you're wanting to get better as a squad, then you've got to be watching those pros. You've got to be looking at what the best in the world are going to be doing. And curious to see how Winger's going to use this Tracer as well in this game on the attack side. But here we go, the fight already underway, pushing forwards. A nice little shield, though, from Zarya is going to mean that it is going to be Sky knocked on down. Count Scout grabs one as well as Ninja Fuya. And a lot of kills very early on here, but it means TLR are actually going to have to back away from this attack right to start things off. Not a good little... Uh, kickoff for them to be quite honest it's going to be an amazing team kind of set the tone for this game they've they've won that first little engage and we'll see if they can continue to do so yeah, the tlr do have the advantage they might back off but they know they got one down in the in the form of may from amazing team low tier god did die early so he's going to take a while to come back but tracer now is doing some real work she gets a triple kill thanks to some damage from the rest of her teammates reaper is now no boosted up but it just looks like everyone is swarming onto him at the moment yeah absolutely and low tier god Going to be just about on his own on this one. Should be shut down in the end. Does actually get his ice block off. Maybe he'll survive, but either way, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. I believe this is going to hit the checkpoint. Just two meters to go. Oh, on 50 meters, it is going to be blocked off in the end. Orange G is going to go down as the nano boost is caught on through TLR. Looking to contest this one, and they're doing a damn good job of it. There's the Graviton Surge, but it counted immediately by the Earthshatter. And look at Count Scout. He's on a rampage right now, just wiping out the squad from Amazing Team. And well, TLR, they're on the map. They are, and Lotil God, he, he was doing well to just kind of stay alive there as May. He was being a nuisance. We saw Anna come to try and support him as well. But to be honest, when when that Reinhardt just gets nano boosted, you can kind of just have a field day, especially in such close quarters like that. It makes things very difficult. And um, it does look like Kanskal has changed actually after that. After that initial fight, he is now Winston. Yeah, I think after using that Earth Shat, he's decided, okay, now we need to change the pace. We need to go a little bit more aggressive and more in their face. I can kind of understand that, to be honest. In this position specifically, Reinhardt feels like that shield can't achieve too much. Nice little bit of harass coming out here from Sky. We saw him here last week as well, doing the exact same thing. Gets his Dragon Blade out, but he can't find anyone. Falls off the bridge, and that's his ultimate down. Bad situation for him, but Kanskout already making use of his taser as he's trying to melt down the Reinhardt. That will be the ultimate coming out from Anna, though, to keep him alive. But Wing's been found by Orangey, who's going to join the rest of the fight, looking for JMC. And well, amazing team. They're doing a fantastic job on this one. Ninja Fuya just looking to finish off these players. Will find Sky as well. And TLR are sent back to the bleachers, sent back to wonder what on earth just happened. Yeah, Orangey got nano boosted up, and he made sure he pushed into the church there just to kill. I he basically went for the two support characters and said, look, I'm just going to target the two supports. You guys do the rest. You like, We can outdo them if, we, if it's a 5v4 situation. And I just make sure I single out anyone that can do any sort of healing. We do see Keys is on 71%, so you will be able to use that Nano Boost sooner rather than later. But it's really a question of who's going to put it on. You don't have a Reaper. You don't have a Reinhardt. You might see it come down onto something like a Winston or a Genji. As the Graviton Surge does come in and it's going to suck in quite a few of those players. Yeah, it certainly will. Primal Rage as well being channeled there by Kanskow. He's trying to do as much disruption as possible, but he's going to get stunned up. But TLR are winning the fight overall because Sky is in this back line with his Dragon Blade just destroying face right now. Sexy goes down as well. And that is going to be just about a team ace, I believe. Anna's over towards spawn, and that means that TLR should be able to push this payload in just a couple more meters, and they'll get that checkpoint. Yeah, I do love Can the use of... A uh, little bit over aggression. There. Yeah, uh, I just love the use of the nano boost on aggressive characters as well from Sky. And uh, you, if you've got a Genji and you've got Dragon Blade, you're doing enough damage anyway. But if you can just push in and slice anything, especially if people can't run away, because you are so quick with a Genji and you can just fly across that map. And there was just no response from Amazing Team whatsoever. We, we, we didn't see the Sleep Dart come out from Flares, but he now has his nano boost, so they're going to look to initiate a team fight as soon as possible because they know they are going to have the ultimate advantage here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, here we go. The fight is already underway as the sound barrier comes on through for TLR. They're looking to make something happen right here and now, but they haven't got any kills yet. RNG managed to survive. Dragon Blade will come out as Ninja Fuya finally gets taken down. Look at Sky. He's right in this backline. And he's taken out the support. This could be crucial in this fight as the rest of the squad of Amazing Team are going to fall as well. There's Wing in the backline finishing off Healbot, and suddenly 
It's going to be Flares all on his own, and I think he's been taken out as well. In fact, he was low tier god, but regardless of who it was, this is going to be a tie game right now. 3-3 three, three on the board, TLR saying, you know what? If you can get three points, we can do it in an ever so slightly better time as well. And this is going to be interesting to see whether Amazing Team have got what it takes to continue in this game because they've got less than half of the time to make this tiebreaker happen for themselves. I'll tell you what I loved was the switch from Reinhardt to Winston as well. It just allowed them to get more aggressive. Clearly, he, he could see his frontliners were getting a little bit agitated, and he was like, look, okay, I'll switch to a tank that I can help you on that front line, and they just all just piled in and really made it awkward for Amazing Team. It was hard for them to defend because they were just being pushed so aggressively and they had to constantly back off into these corners, and then the ultimates were ready for TLR, and then they were just shoving on players like Sky, who was Genji, and he could just clean up shop. And it was good work from those guys, and now we're going to see who can do it faster, and by the looks of the last time, we'd like to say that TLR are probably looking favourites at the moment. Yeah, I mean, even if you don't look at how good the teams are specifically, just on time alone. They have over double the time. So long as they can just get beyond that first point, I doubt there's going to be much more that can be achieved by Amazing Team than that first point with such a small amount of time. And actually, when you look at what happened in this specific game getting towards the first point, I don't think either team managed to get it in under a minute and 24. So Amazing Team, they've definitely got their work cut out on this one, and we'll see. They're going to be able to pull out of the bag to make this happen for themselves. Here we go. The battle is underway once more in a very aggressive position from TLR on this defense right now. Pushing forward and actually looking to make this fight happen immediately. I don't know whether they're going to be able to get away with this one, to be honest. We've got a Genji right in the back line. Anna just puts him straight to sleep, though. And the rest of Amazing Team are sweeping up right now. Four kills go their way, and JMC and Wing find themselves all alone. Yeah, TLR said, look, okay, let's take it to them. Let's get aggressive. Let's get in their face, because they've only got a minute and 20 seconds. But we saw Space was the first one to get taken down, which was really crucial for Amazing Team. We now, now see Sky pushing up just to try and stop any push now from TLR, just trying to defend this. They should get to this first checkpoint, but it does look like the the members of TLR are here now, and we do see Keys with Roadhog, which was what he used last week, but he didn't use it earlier in the round. Now here comes the Nano Boost yeah. with the Death Blossom, manages to pick up at least one kill. They did well to Sleep Dart him there. Only one kill comes out from the Death Blossom. The Sleep Dart came out after the ultimate, but here comes the Earth Shatter from RNG. They've got to make this happen. Amazing team are so close to getting this one in. They've just got to finish off the job, and they should be able to do so. The players are dropping from the side of TLR. There's another four kills for themselves, and the checkpoint will be reach so they are going to just about run out of time but they'll have that overtime counter to work with as well and we'll see if there's anything they can do can scout actually going to go down as sexy is not done i'm assuming his name is sexy i'm just going to keep saying that it feels kind of weird to say that as his name but i'm going to roll with it i can appreciate a man being sexy <laughs> here we go the overtime counter is underway right now and basically amazing team they cannot falter they cannot have a single Laps in judgment for a second here. They've got to just make this happen for themselves. Wink does have that nano boost though. Here we go. Sound barrier comes on in. Oh, Sexy doesn't manage to get the dragon blade up to the top though. Keys will be able to escape with his life, and that is going to be an ultimate down the drain for them. Here comes the counter engage nano boost onto Sky. He should be able to just clean up with those shotguns, and there goes the death blossom as well. Four kills come through for him. And well, that is how you finish out a game right there from TLR. They're saying there is no chance you are getting to this second checkpoint. And they've set themselves a fairly decent score to beat. Yeah, I think that's why they took such an aggressive stance to start off with as well. They said, look, they, they haven't got much time. Even if they do get to this first checkpoint, even if we do lose this first team fight, they're going to they're gonna be on overtime by the time they're trying to push that second one. So we just need to stop them as early as possible so that we have got plenty of time just to try and beat where that checkpoint gets to. I loved... The use of, of Reaper being nano boosted, but we did see low tier god, he got boosted. He only got one kill with that Death Blossom just because players were very effectively getting to that high ground and making sure they escaped it. Because obviously, you do, it's kind of a direct line of sight. It doesn't kind of go up, it doesn't kind of go down, it's kind of just to the side. So if you are an, high enough above them, you're not going to get hit by those Death Blossom shots. So good work from those guys managing to avoid that. Very important. And I'm curious to see. What amazing team are going to bring to the table here on defense? We've got Heelbottoms and Yata. First time we're seeing him on that defensive side, I believe, tonight. And let's see what kind of positioning they're going to start with. Fun fact for you, Heelbot has a 55% win rate, and it is his most played character in competitive mode with Zenyata. OK, 
Okay, well, obviously a very accomplished player when it comes to the little Robo Monk. But we'll see if he's going to be able to uh, pull it out for his team. Because to be quite honest, they could have put on a stellar defense if they want to stay in this game. Right now. Yeah, they do. And we will see a, probably a less aggressive stance from Amazing Team because they don't want to give up any control at all of this first checkpoint. They're going to want to hold off and they're going to want to make a nice stand here. They don't want to just push in and take a fight willy-nilly. They're going to make sure they know when they want to take the fight. They're going to try and set the pace here. And I wouldn't be surprised if Flares gets that first charge and makes sure that he can nano boost onto Orangey so Orangey can set the pace and start and initiate this first fight. We've got Wing on Tracer, not going for a flank though, just trying to pump damage out for now and there he goes off towards the side to try and find his way through. I'm interested by the Hanzo as well, attack coming out from Sky. So far he's landed a fair few decent shots but not actually managed to make any kills happen and so far amazing team doing a good job on this defense but here comes Wing sneaking on around from the side but they were waiting for him. Discord orb before you can say there's a Tracer coming from the side and that is going to be his flank pretty much towards it. Yeah, it will be, and we now will see Reinhardt charge in, but Sky is just trying to just peeking through this May wall as we do see a couple of players go down, but now the nano boost comes into play as well, but not much is too going down here yeah. as May is just using her best ability to survive here. Good work from Lote God just to be a nuisance. Yeah, absolutely, but the rest of his team's pretty much gone down and he will do so as well. The uh, Blizzard is going to free some players, but if they're frozen on the payload, it will keep on moving. So. They managed to get it to this first checkpoint. One minute and 40 seconds remaining to just get past where Amazing Team managed to get. They basically have to get under the bridge, right? It was, or in fact, it's just before the bridge. That's going to be where the golden grid is going to be. And to be honest, I've got to say, I don't think it's that going to be that difficult of an achievement looking at where they need to actually get to and how long they've got to do it minute and 15 seconds should be enough but if amazing team can put on a strong defense they will be able to stop this from happening but look at this wing already so aggressive forcing low tier god to use that ice block he even uses his pulse bomb as well just getting so much damage across these teams but he's not actually able to finish off any of the players and amazing team are managing to win out this fight tlr are running out of players and wing will be able to escape with his life but escape is not what he wanted to do. The payload has been halted. An amazing team. They're making sure they stay in this game. They did so well as well because TLR had several ultimates to work with, but amazing team had none. They only had Zenyatta's Transcendence, but he didn't even use it. So Healbot's got that for this next team fight, as well as the Graviton Surge from Ninja Fuya. So this could be a team fight that amazing team are likely to win. You're going to see them probably try and initiate this fight as soon as possible because they know if they can kill them and put them on spawn once again, they might just be able to win this round. Here we go, Graviton Surge comes on, Albert TLR counter it with the sound barrier. It's not enough though, three members have already gone down, Sky will fall as well. And well, Wing, he's doing what he can, he's trying to just fight on how he managed to get one kill for himself, but it is nowhere near enough when you've got Amazing Team pulling out wombo combos like that and just making these fights happen for themselves. Can Scout is back onto this payload once more, but he's down to just 50 HP. He will be finished off by Flares in the end. There's another two kills going the way of Amazing Team now. The overtime is in play, but I don't think Keys can do this one on his own. Overtime slowly but surely ticking out. Wing will be able to extend that slightly, but he's dropped. And well, there we have it. Amazing team managed to pull that one out of the bag and they managed to win map one for themselves. Amazing team, they take the lead in this series. Both of us predicted TLR to be the winners. Wow, uh, incredible from Amazing Team. I felt like TLR just were trying to use every ultimate they had possible quite desperately at the end there, and they just didn't really take advantage. They weren't able to sync up and use several ultimates together to really win those team bites. Amazing Team, they saved that Graviton Surge, they had the Nano Boost, and they had the Death Blossom. They shoved it onto Sky, and he just went absolutely crazy uh, with, with that Death Blossom. Yeah, and that was that moment where they just got the clean team wipe there. I think it was just. No, like sorry, it wasn't Anna the sky, was it? Yeah, it was the other team. It was on Amazing but Team. That was honestly a fantastic performance from Amazing Team and TLR. Actually, they've got their work cut out. And I think TLR were probably coming into this series like we were saying, you know, looking at last week's results, looking at what we know of these teams, it should be TLR on the front foot. It should be them being the favourites. However,. Amazing team coming in strong on this one, and they now lead this best of three 1 0, which means we're going to be moving on to our second map, which I believe was Li Zhang Tower. Now, I don't 
As far as I can recall, we haven't seen either of these teams on Lijiang Tower. So this is going to be an interesting one. We don't really have that same scouting as we did on Dorado. I'm curious to see... I actually can't remember whose map pick this second one was. I believe it this will actually teams. be Amazing Teams, yep. though, because Seed 1 gets to pick first. So this is actually starting to look a little bit scary for TLR. Well, that's the scary thing. TLR picked Dorado because they beat Amazing Team on it last week. But Amazing Team just seemed like they did their research a little bit better. It looked like TLR went with the kind of same strategy that they tried last week. It's tried and tested, right? They knew mm -hmm. that they beat them with it last time, but it just looked to me like Amazing Team had done the research. They said, oh, these are what the top players are playing. Let's try out this. They probably tried out several compositions in competitive play. Yep. And their defense just looked that tiny little bit stronger, but not in the, obviously not in that first initial push because the, the time difference was crazy. But in that overtime, just their defense yeah. was unreal. And the, the, everything that they tried, the last resort, they tried the switches, they tried to switch to Winston, but everything they tried just didn't seem like quite enough, to be honest. Absolutely. And I think the, the key thing to bear in mind as well is when you go for that first initial attack, even if your score isn't amazing, so long as you can get those three points, that's all that counts, so long as you can pull it in that second time round. And that's exactly what Amazing Team did. And now TLR, kind of the favorites coming into this series, 1-0 down. And this is going to be a little bit of a mountain to climb. They're going on to Amazing Team's map pick as well. And well... I think they're going to be hoping to be seeing Watchpoint Gibraltar at some point tonight because otherwise they're going to be knocked out of the tournament. Let me just remind you guys, this is the lower bracket. So whoever loses here loses their opportunity to move on to Comic-Con and loses their tournament life completely. So whoever does manage to win will be moving forward to take endpoint later on today in our final of Group A. However, right now... We were all, to be honest, I was expecting it to be TLR, but right now it's looking to be an amazing team who have honestly stepped up, and I'm incredibly impressed by the research they've done. It's very clear that they've been watching the professional scene and adapted and actually improved over the course of this week, which I'm, I'm happy to be seeing this, that we're seeing these UK teams really develop week to week and start to get better and better, and looking towards playoffs, if amazing team do make it, then they'll be looking fantastic. Yeah, and it's whether they've done the research on Endpoint as well. It's whether they've looked at TLR and said, look, okay, we know how to beat TLR. Now let's look at Endpoint. Or it's whether they've just solely focused on TLR. And now, Lijiang Tower, I think you've really got to be looking at your Lucios. They come into play a lot during these kind of control matchups. You can just get, especially, especially on this first one, you can get in that area, just in that circle there, and you can just heal everything. You can skate around the room. You just need to make sure you survive. It's very key that your Lucio survives. I wouldn't be surprised if he is targeted first in some of these team fights because you know how important support is. Everyone knows how important support is. Obviously, if you're getting your heals, you're going to be doing all right. So I wouldn't be surprised if Lucio's get taken out first in any team fight here. Yeah, would not be surprised at all. Lote God going to be rocking with Tracer this game and Wing going to be replicating that exact same thing on the other side. Generally speaking, composition's fairly similar, but we've got keys on the Ana compared to flares on the Zenyatta for the side of Amazing Team. So we'll see how this one's going to pan out. And also, it's going to be Reaper versus Genji. So a couple of differences here, not exactly the same compositions. We'll see how this is going to make things change. But here we go. The fight already well and truly underway. Ninja Fuya just desperately trying to survive right now. As Sky walks on in, but Wing manages to finish him off. Sky grabs one as well, but Orangey answers for that. And Wing just looking to do more. Takes out Sexy, takes out another as well. And that is going to be TLR managing to win out this first fight by the looks of things. They will be able to get control of this capture point and start to rack up the score. This was the wing that we didn't really get to see last week because he kind of got stuck in that support role. He's clearly said to the guys, I want to be playing the DPS character that I'm used to playing. So he's doing some real work with Tracer. Now we're going to see a little bit of a Tracer off between him and Lote God. Lote God is going to have to rewind there just to make sure he survives. Pulse Bomb will come in there, but no kills will be had. And now we'll start to see the teams just trying to battle for this midpoint here. Yeah, absolutely. And TLR are winning once again. Low tier God goes down to the likes of Wing. And well, there's a team wipe coming out. TLR don't lose a single member. And they're looking for revenge for that first map, as far as I can tell at this point, because Amazing Team can't seem to get anything on the board. They even used a couple of ultimates right there. They used Nano Beast, and they used... Oh, in fact, no, they've, in fact, swapped heroes now. They've decided to try and match their opponents, but it's not making a difference just yet, as look at this bloodbath coming out. TLR... Four of their players are on fire right now. And well, 
amazing team. They've got to go back to the drawing board and figure out what on earth to do in this situation. Yeah, they went for the Zenyatta, but they've clearly... Flez has said, look, actually, I'm going to play Anna. I thought Zenyatta might have been the better pick because there's a lot of these close battle fights and uh, Transcendence will be very handy, but... If you're not even going to get your ultimate, then there's no point. I, I feel like Anna is just a better support character at the moment, especially with Nanaboost being so powerful. Graviton Surge does come down, but Reaper is able to get out of that one as a few players have gone down from TLR. Maybe this is the push for Amazing now. Yeah, Amazing team are winning out this fight so far. If they can just hold on to this, JMC manages to shield himself at the last second. There is Sexy just looking to try and finish off these players. Pulse Bomb will finish off RNG, though, and it looks like TLR have managed to get back in control of the fight. They finish off Sexy. And that was all they had remaining. Amazing team once again pushed back. And look at this aggressive positioning. They're not letting them out of spawn. They're not letting them anywhere near the point to contest anything. And I think Sexy just trying to run past right there, trying to get onto the point, but he's not going to be allowed to do so. And look at this, RNG as well, just gets melted on down. A low tier god with the nano boost. He manages to find one for himself, and there's going to be the death boss and looking for more. Finds two, but he's going to end up going down in the end. I think JMC actually goes down in the end, but... Pulse Bomb will finish him off and gets a second one as well. TLR on 99 points. Overtime coming on into play. And Sky coming in from the side. They've just got to hold on to this for a second without their opponents. And they will be able to take it. But I think it might be Amazing Team looking to try and take control of things. And there we have it. 99 points, but Amazing Team aren't done. And you see this so often, getting to that 99 and the other team coming back into it. And you might even see Amazing Team get up to 99 as well before overtime happens. Just because you can take that aggressive stance, you can really take the fight to the other team. We do see Graviton Surge ready for Ninja Fuya there. He is going to be able to... But JMC also has one as well. So we might see that double Graviton Surge that often happens and it will just be a fight of both teams just sucked into one big portal. Well, there is the first Graviton Surge, and we'll see if anyone's going to be finished off. Sky just got his Dragon Blade, but it was a second too late. Should be able to finish off a few players, though, regardless of that. Should be able to finish off this Lucio. At very least, Heelbot goes down. So only got two kills, but it's enough to give TLR the advantage. Can Scout manages to find one for himself as well? This is going to be TLR by the looks of things taking control once again. Amazing team are running out of players. RNG back onto the point, but the nano boost will keep Can Scout alive. And it will also mean that his taser just melts the faces off of his opponents. Look at this play coming out from Lotte God. Just trying to kite around, trying to keep his team in the game at this point. That is the veto, including Cobblestone. I'm not sure why that's up. We'll get rid of that in a second for you guys. But this is going to be by the looks of things. TLR managing to regain control. They're just wiping out each and every player. Overtime comes into play. We've got to see Amazing Team pull this one out of the bag if they want to keep on this first point, but I don't think they've got it. I don't think they've got any juice left in the tank, and that is going to be Healbot going down, and Amazing Team going 1-0 down here on Li Zhang Town. It does seem to be that TLR just have those advantages in every single team fight, and I think in these control matchups, TLR should be taking this because their general compositions and general their approach to team fights seems to be a lot better than amazing teams they seem to be choosing their ultimates a little bit more wisely but amazing team will now look at that and say look okay we were 99 percent down to our zero we managed to get like 40 percent on the board we just need to win that initial team fight it's so important to get that first team fight and start putting those points on the board i want to see some work from low tier god as that tracer really just trying to annoy that back line of tlr yeah, and I think as well, one thing about that first team fight, it's not even just about the points, it's also about you then get the advantageous map positioning. You're the one that can set up defensively and be ready for your opponents. It's much harder to be on the offensive than it is to be on the defensive here on these control point maps, but nice little headshot coming out from Sky there. He's looking to do some serious damage and finish off this Winston player as fast as possible. RNG just about survives though for a second there does end up going down in the end and TLR well they're in control of the fight once again but Lotir got looking to try and ruin that for them he's doing what he can but JMC is here to capitalize and this is going to go to TLR once again they managed to win out this first team fight they managed to take control of the capture point. And the reason why they won that first team fight amazing teams two DPS characters Sky and Lotir God they went after the support but TLR support were supported by their tanks, whereas Amazing Team didn't have their tanks to back up their DPS players there. So the DPS players went down, then all that was left was the tanks and support, and TLR just obviously had DPS characters left to win that team fight. So better kind of positioning and better sticking together from TLR at the moment. Amazing Team really need to group up for these team fights. They certainly do. Well, speaking of grouping up, we've got a little bit of a cluster going on 
on the bridge, but both teams decide to back away. Nobody actually goes down in the end. Is Sky going to be on this McCree trying to find those shots, but doesn't quite connect to that Tracer. Tracer, the most annoying hero in this game to try and actually get. But should be able to find a few more kills. It's going to be Flares actually on the Reaper, trying to do what he can to finish off Can Scout, who's just going to kite away and get away with his life as well. But we do have Amazing Team now in control of things. Can Scout comes back in, but will be finished off. And there we have it. Amazing team managing to regain control a little bit earlier this time, and I think that's crucial for them. Yeah, a lot better from Healbot as Lucio. He was just kind of sticking with Ninja Fury. He said, look, I'm going to make sure I'm healing you up. You're going to be a pretty important tank to stay alive, especially using those bubbles to make sure that you keep the rest of the team alive as well. So I think that's very important for Amazing Team. They just need to make sure they're sticking together, make sure they use those right support characters to be with the tanks and don't get caught out by the DPS from TLR. Well, here we go, the attack underway once again, JMC on this front line and Nano Boost goes down onto Sky, but in fact he's just going to get shut down because Flares is there with a sound barrier. JMC actually fell off the map as well, Wing is going to be jumping off. They're just deciding, you know what, we want to try and die as fast as possible. We realise we've lost this fight, let's stop them getting as much ultimate charge as they can. And let's just end this fight right now, get the respawns on the go. Yeah, really interesting decision there, just trying to group up once again. Flares did very well in that last team fight by using his ultimate, using the Death Blossom, but now we will see the Graviton Surge coming up. Orangey will jump as far in the air as possible just to try and avoid being sucked into that big ball of death. And now Lotte God is trying to do some work as Tracer, just trying to be as annoying as possible here. Yeah, absolutely. And this time it's amazing team that are in the driver's seat. They've overtaken TLR when it comes to points. TLR, obviously 1-0 up on this map, but they're 1-0 down in this series. They can't really afford to lose any of these capture points. Can Scout trying to chase down Flares and will be able to do so. Looks like TLR are back in the driver's seat once again. They've managed to take control of this point, but Sexy is not going to let that happen for free. Gets a couple of kills before he goes down. Low tier God going to commit suicide. Common theme on this map right now. But it is going to mean that TLR managed to get control of this point once again. 84% for Amazing Team. But TLR aren't going to let them get control again easily. Sky just waiting with that Death Blossom. He knows that they're going to be pushing in soon. Nano Boost comes on in and here we go. Death Blossom pushes on forward, finds one, finds two for himself. Looking for more as well and will be able to find them. It doesn't matter if he doesn't get a team wipe because the rest of the team has to just wait for the respawn. That's what TLR have been waiting for and we saw in their first fight that ordering was just perfect. They know how badly Reaper can take down that Winston. So we just could see they were targeting Reaper first. Can Scout said, look, I will even help you guys. We're going to take down this Reaper first because he can do so much damage with that Death Blossom. But Wow, that Nano Boost plus Death Blossom is absolutely deadly. Yeah, Low Tier God and Sexy are both down in this fight. I'm not sure this is a wise one for Amazing Team. They've got no DPS, but they're going for it anyway. Flare's the only one remaining for them when it comes to that damage, but they're starting to lose players at this point. Ninja Fuya, Orange Bot, Orange Bot, Orangey, and Heal Bot have both gone down. Here comes Low Tier God, though. He's found his way back into the fight. 99 points now for TLR, but they've still got members to play with. JMC trying to finish off this Tracer. 10 HP for him, or 15 at least. Will go down in the end as Wing manages to take those extra couple of kills. He's got the Nano Boost now. Gets one onto Flares to make it the triple. And there we have it. He's going to be able to continue to just sweep these players up. This should be all she wrote. And there we have it, TLR. Managed to get the second capture point. They are one capture point away from taking this map and moving on into a third game in the best of three. Amazing team in the heat of the moment can really take those team fights well, but once you give TLR a little bit of time to kind of think about things, get a little bit composed, they just suddenly smash out some crazy kind of push and they will make sure they have that nano boost ready and Sky is doing what Sky does best. Fantastic DPS from him as Reaper and just kind of using that Death Blossom. I mean, if you're nano boosted to use that Death Blossom, you just feel like a god. You can literally just push in and if, if there is no counter ultimate to kind of stop you, you're just going to have an absolute field day. And even when the Death Blossom is finished, those shotguns hit so ruddy hard, yeah. even Zaya's bubble couldn't stop them. Yeah, the only things that are going to stop you at that point is the Sleep Dart or like Earth Shatter, the CC that comes through that would normally stop your ultimate anyway that obviously Nano Boost isn't going to be able to protect you. But even then, if you've got a Zarya on your team as well, you are laughing. You just get that bubble on you. But here we go. Fight already begun here. There's Low Tier God looking to try and lay some damage down. He's going to be on to Can Scout to start things off. And actually, he's found keys on the back line. But a beautiful little Sleep Dart is just going to ruin his day. I mean, he has to back away from this one. 
And actually, just continuing to do whatever harassment he can will go down in the end. It does. It's interesting that both of these teams have decided to go for Winston as well, rather than Reinhardt, as we do see Sky taking down one of those, and that will be Zenyatta going down as well, so that's really important for TLR. They've got rid of one of those supports. They might target Healbot now. He goes down, so that's Lucio out of action as well, and now it will just be a case of cleaning up everything that's left in this hill. Yeah, absolutely, and that is going to be TLR managing to take control of not only the point, but the game at this stage. An amazing team. If they want to stay on this map, if they want to keep their lead in this series, they've got to pull something out of the bag. They've got to do better than this. It's not good enough right now on Li Zhang Tower. They've not even been able to get to 99 points at any point in this series. And well, we've got to see better if they want to stay in this series. Wing going to be coming back towards his team. He's going to be able to get healed up by his teammates. Pulse Bomb is going to land onto him, though. So just gets destroyed in the end by Low Tier God. As Sky is right on this front line with his shotguns. And here comes the Death Blossom. He is going to use it straight away. Gets two, gets three for himself. All full kill credit as well. Look at that damage. TLR stay in control of the point, And it's all thanks to Sky. Great initiative from TLR as well. They knew Sky didn't even have his ultimate yet. But they were like, look, every time you hit one of those shots, you're getting 10% on your ultimate anyway. So just run in, do some damage, and then you can use that Death Blossom to full effect. And <laughs> there's just not much that Amazing Team can do to counter it right now. They don't have an Ana of themselves, so they can't use that Nano Boost. They try and get that Winston Shield down to do whatever they can to stop it, but it's just not enough right now. Ninja Fuya is going to be dropped already, and that really sucks. When you're Amazing Team, you're trying to do this push, and your Zarya goes down. That's such a crucial member of the squad when you're trying to make a push happen. Sky manages to find one onto Sexy as well, and Amazing Team, they've got to regroup right now. You've got to pull together and wait for the respawns, because otherwise you are just going to slowly but surely lose control of this map. 80 points now on the board for TLR. They're not far from just finishing this map and taking it 3-0 and pushing on to a third map in the best of three. JMC and Kanskout both find themselves another kill as the Nano Boost comes here onto the Zarya. Should be able to finish off his opposing mirror matchup right there. And he's looking for the Lucio as well. Won't be able to finish that one off, but actually may have gone a little bit deep for this one at this rate. Does manage to get away. And Flares actually just gets wrecked right there in a 1v1. And there we have it, TLR. Complete control when it comes to that third point. Take Li Zhang, Zawa, Li Zhang Tower 3-0. And that means that they've managed to even things up to 1-1 one, one in this series. Let's take a look at what Sky was doing during this game. TLR just really set the pace as well. In the end, they, usually in that kind of control, control map, you see teams just sitting on the point and waiting and allowing the other team to attack. Instead, TLR said, look, no, we're going to take the fight to you. We're going to get up in your face. We're going to make sure that you can't just push us easily. We're not going to give you any chance to breathe, no time to think. We saw what happened when TLR were given time to think. They were able to change their composition slightly. They knew exactly what, what they wanted to do. Yeah. But amazing team. When they don't have that time to think, they were really struggling. They were pushing out one by one. They weren't grouping up as well. So good stuff from TLR. Yeah, and now we move on to Watchpoint Gibraltar. That's going to be the third map in this best of three. And uh, one thing I will say that's a little bit concerning for TLR is obviously the first map, Dorado, that's a payload map. We just saw TLR do a fantastic job on control point, but it was amazing team. They were the ones in the driving seat when it came to that payload map. And Watchpoint Gibraltar is going to be a similar story, I fear. We'll have to see what TLR are going to be able to change coming into this map. And I mean, what is it from map one that they need to be doing differently as they come into Gibraltar? Honestly, I, I just think it's their kind of it's just sticking together as a team. Uh, I thought their team fights weren't quite as good. And honestly, just payload, I really think that attacking. Uh, they have everything, TLR. They know how to do it. I just think they need to be a little bit more solid defensively. I wouldn't be surprised if they maybe go with something like a Roadhog. Mm -hmm. We saw Keys play Roadhog last time. He was very successful on the Watchpoint Gibraltar. I think having that Roadhog just to kind of pull some key players out of the team fights might be what they need to win one of these payload matchups. Well, we'll have to wait and see if they are going to bring a Roadhog to the mix on this one. We've not really seen that much Roadhog today, we which, to be honest, I'm a little bit surprised. We I saw mean, so much of it last week. Yeah, exactly. And in the pro scene as well, it's picked just about every single game at this rate. So a little bit surprised to not see as much of that one. But at the same time, it is kind of a specific pick. There's only certain situations that you can grab it for. I mean, it, it counters the nano boost onto Reinhardt very well, obviously, because if you can whole hog, you can just push that nano boost away and make sure he doesn't get near anyone. But if the nano boosts aren't there, maybe you don't need that Roadhog. I mean, we saw no Reinhardt in both those control matchups. I know Li Zhang Tower, perhaps Reinhardt's not amazing, but we have seen it in the pro scene. 
People do like to use Reinhardt just because that shield is so effective and you can just push him with those team fights and that nano boost. But both teams opting for Winston. We can see that these players are confident with that Winston. They like to get in the face of their opponent. They like to get aggressive and help those kind of DPS characters with those fights. Yeah, absolutely. And that's one of the things about Winston. I mean, we mentioned it on Dorado when we saw... I, I, trying to think who it actually was. Was it Keys? Can Scout. Oh, it was Can Scout, yeah, yeah, that changed. And it was like, okay, we're past the first checkpoint. We're past the part where my shield is actually going to be effective. We've got multiple levels of the map right now. We need that verticality. And also, we need to be aggressive. We need to make this happen right now and go into that Winston immediately, help them to achieve that. And I'm curious to see whether that's going to be a similar situation here on Gibraltar. Because, you know, Gibraltar is straight from the from the word go, going to be much more vertical than the likes of Dorado. When you're looking at Dorado, you've got that one balcony, you've got the rooftops. So generally speaking, not many people really use them. And when you're on that first point, it's pretty much a level playing field. Whereas when you look at Gibraltar, it's the exact opposite end of the, of the scale. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to see some sort of Bastion pick or even a tall pick. Just something to try and surprise your opponent, try and get that advantage. I mean, we saw last week... Uh, I think it was TLR that against Endpoint they went with a Bastion on attack on Watchpoint Gibraltar. Didn't really work out. I can understand the thought process behind it. It's a bit old school. You saw it in competitive play. But perhaps it might work against Amazing Team. Although, if Amazing Team have done their research, which we think they have because of the way they're playing, they may expect that kind of Bastion. But it's like, even if you expect a Bastion, there's not much you can do about a Bastion when it's behind that Reinhardt shield on... Roadhog can be a good counter to it sometimes because you can kind of hook it out of that turret mode, but a Bastion behind a shield is a Bastion behind a shield. It's going to do some damage. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, maybe we see a super old school throwback to the Protect the President kind of thing where you even throw a Mercy in and go for that damage boost as well. We'll have to wait and see whether, whether we see a Bastion well, at all. To be honest, I would be a little bit surprised to see a Bastion straight off the bat. Um, I think... Obviously, it has been seen a little bit in the pro scene, but I think it's kind of one of those almost cheese strategies where it's like you just throw it in to throw your opponent off almost. Yeah, and I think you, you touched on a point of mercy. I mean, I know that that is a thing, the kind of protect the president, but mercy last week, we saw it coming out of Ayuki from Endpoint, and it really worked on Watchpoint yeah. Gibraltar. He, those revives were absolutely crucial for just delaying those pushes, just for keeping those team fights, especially on defense. Ayuki went nuts with Mercy, and it pretty much won them the game. So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the, we might see a Mercy come out of one of these players today. All right, well, the fan vote is definitely a little bit one-sided. Amazing team only managing to get 27% of the fan vote, whereas TLR sitting pretty on 73. So it's very clear that you guys at home are certainly searching for the TLR win. And Obviously searching as well for that TLR versus Endpoint rematch later today, which will be happening if TLR can take much Watchpoint Gibraltar right here. However, Amazing Team are not going to let that happen easily. I think it's about time that we head onto the map for our third and final game of this best of three. And we'll find out who is going to be moving on to face Endpoint later on this evening in our grand finals of Group A. And to find out who... We'll be moving on to Comic-Con, our grand finals of the entire season. It's going to be TLR on the attack to start things off. An amazing team here on the blue side on that defense. And we are going to see that Reinhardt straight away on that defense. However, we in fact, we see it on both sides. So both teams deciding that Reinhardt still going to be the way to go despite the verticality, despite Different options, still going to be wanting to go for that that kind of stand. It, it almost feels like Reinhardt is like the default tank. And then the others are like niche picks for other situations. But if in doubt, pick Reinhardt. Yeah, in general, Reinhardt seems to be the go-to tank. Obviously not in the, the King of the Hill game types. He it, it wasn't favoured last game. But in these payloads, he's so important, both defence and offence. I, I was going to say, I was expecting a change from some of the TLR players because we saw Tor being picked there, yeah. which was a bit of a meme, but Sky actually switching to Bastion with only less than a millisecond to go. He is going to push out, and we will see them attempt this. This is what they tried last week against Endpoint. It didn't work. They get straight onto that payload because Amazing Team have taken such a defensive position. They just want to get that high advantage, and we will see Wing push in now just to try and annoy and distract and allow Bastion to push towards that first checkpoint and really do some damage. Yeah, and this is a similar situation to what we saw in the TLR versus Endpoint game. TLR looking to get 
that position around the side once again with that Bastion, but it's not going to pan out as well as it did last time. They don't just get around their opponents this time. But Wing going to be in that back line. Lotea God over here on the balcony, going to be trying to get some shots down from a distance, but it's going to be difficult for him to have too much of an effect, especially when it comes to the payload. But Ninja Fuya will go down, and the payload is moving at a rapid pace right now, and they just about made it to the first checkpoint already. Wing has found the DPS that are hiding out up on this top balcony. He, all he has to do is distract them right now, and the checkpoint has been reached already. TLR making that one happen so, so quickly for themselves. And, well, amazing team. They've got their work cut out in this game. Yeah, and I love the work from Kanskout as well. He literally hunted Lucio when he was just Reinhardt and he said, look, I'm going to hunt for you because I know you can do so much damage. RNG with the Earth Shatter there just to stop that Nano Boost. And then he is Nano Boosted himself, but he charges away from the whole team. So neither Nano Boost is going to make too much of an impact as TLR continue to push this payload. Yeah, absolutely. Skycog quite landed shots here on McCree. Looking for those headshots, but... Just about falling short. Ninja Fuya on this front line will get shut down by that Earth Shatter and Healbot with the Transcendent. Should be able to keep him, his team alive for just a little while and then has to back away. But look at this amazing team. They're filtering in one by one, two by two, and that's not good enough when you've got this cluster of TLR that are working as a squad and smashing their opponents against the wall right now. Kanskow grabs two for himself. Wing finds one as well. And this is already going to be a second checkpoint. This is ridiculous coming out from TLR. They are not messing around. Clearly, Gibraltar is a map that they are very comfortable on. Yeah, and uh, I'm glad that Bastion was switched to McCree. Sky is uh, very accomplished as McCree as well. And I think TLR just need to take it to amazing. They need to get to this three points. They need to just think about their defense. They don't want to let this get in. As we see the Nano Boost come once again coming onto both Reinhardt at exactly the same time. Kanskow is going to try and get into the midst of the action. Does take down Sexy, but he is now just going to shield up, get back to his team, and he has an Earth Shatter to use once they get into the next team fight. Yeah, amazing team. It's group up or lose right now, guys. You've got to work together a little bit better. You're scattering so much in these team fights, and TLR are more than happy to take advantage of that. Three ultimates available on each team right now. This is going to be one heck of a fight. Can Scout and JMC can't use that combo of Earth Shatter and uh, the Graviton Surge, but here we go. Can Scout knocked down to the ground right here. We'll be able to finish off RNG though, and without that shield, should be able to just get a pretty decent Earth Shatter. No questions asked. Wing will go down though as Low Tier Gone managed to find one. That's three members drop. There's a fourth one as well, and suddenly this is looking like a fantastic fight for Amazing Team. They're managing to get themselves back onto this map it might be a little bit too late though yeah low tier god targeting well he's just picking off those support characters first he's just using that hit scan to full effect a great play from mccree he has a dead eye as a reward we might see tlr pushing with the nano boost now you do see nano boost come down but earth shatter will once again stop it he's not gonna be able to do much and then he earth shatters to respawn and he does get a few hits so we will be able to build up his earth shatter once again but now sexy's doing some work with genji and he's gonna try and take down lucio which he does yeah, an amazing team once again on this defense, doing a fantastic job. It seems like they've just finally got to this last checkpoint and then hit Super Saiyan mode. They're suddenly managing to actually hold on to this. Well, in the early battles, amazing team, they were using the Nano Boost first and it wasn't working for them. So they said, look, we'll wait for TLR to use their Nano Boost. We'll make sure our Anna stays alive. Then we'll Nano Boost our Reinhardt. And I've got to say, RNG has been doing fantastically to use that Earth Shatter to just make sure that there is no Nano Boost craziness coming out of Kanskout. It's going to be a very frustrating position for Kanskout because he's had that Nano Boost two, three times and been able to do absolutely nothing with it because of that Earth Shatter. Yeah, and it always feels awful to waste that ultimate, but interesting charge coming out there. RNG just... Oh, what are you doing, mate? Why did you go in there? Ends up getting taken out completely. Wing will be traded, though, so it's not the end of the world just yet. Kanskout going to be blocking a lot of damage on that Graviton Surge and manages to get a couple of knockdowns with his own Earth Shatter. There's the Nano Boost, but Flares goes down for his trouble, and there's the charge into the wall to finish off low-tier god. JMC just trying to melt down the Reinhardt that's charging at him. Hammer a blazing and he will end up going down in the... No, JMC managed to win it. What? I thought the rest of the team was going to follow in as well. JMC still going to be here and still going to be annoying them, but all in all, this is going to be still a defense held on right now. JMC goes down. Amazing team. 
still in control of the payload. Yeah, Amazing Team have clearly chosen who they're trying to target. Orangey has said, look, I'm going to take the Reinhardt fights every day of the week. As long as I can just get him weak and you guys can finish him off, then that's going to be absolutely fine for me. We do see Earthshatter ready again for Orangey. I wouldn't be surprised if he saves it in case there is a nano boost. As Wing now will push in, use that pulse bomb with Graviton Surge. Does get rewarded with a kill as well onto the Zarya. Yeah, and here we go looking in the eyes of... TLR right now as they are just sweeping up. That's going to be an ace. That is going to be the team kill and it's going to be the game going their way. 3-0 now for TLR. They've managed to push that payload in. Got to say though, amazing team. If they'd managed to get that defense together a little bit earlier on, that easily could have been a defense held and not gone the whole way for TLR. But now amazing team. It's their turn to attack. They've got to get that full distance or they're in trouble. I think you're right. It was just that switch, that kind of realization of, guys, we need to be using these ultimates defensively. We need to be using them reactively rather than initiating these team fights. TLR were responding to the ultimates of Amazing Team, and that shouldn't have really been how it was working as TLR were the attackers. But I did say it before, TLR are very good attacking, but their defense didn't look too great on Dorado. So now we'll see how they are going to set up and what they can do to try and counteract this amazing team push. We do see Genji coming out of Sexy. Healbot, of course, playing his favorite Lucio, but they are going to go for a Bastion as well. So clearly both teams favoring this kind of Bastion push. When he does still have time to change, maybe he's just going to kind of dance around in any view, try and tell TLR that he's got a Bastion, but I wouldn't be surprised if they go for this kind of initial Bastion push as well. Yeah, just trying to get that control of the area at the top of this hill. The Bastion just kind of basically creates an area of a no-go zone for your opponent where they just can't actually push into that line of fire coming out from the minigun. Amazing team. They've got to go the whole distance on this one. TLR, they've set a time of 2-2-3, two, two, which... You know, it's not incredible. It's not the greatest time in the world, but its it, I'd say it's about average. It's a decent time to be working with. We currently see uh, all of TLR at the moment just taking the highest point they can. They want as much height advantage as possible. And they just really want to try and go for that surprise attack on Amazing, get that initial team fight out of the way, get their ultimates charged up so that they have the advantage for the rest of the game. If you can get that first team fight won, have those ultimates ready, then you're looking in good shape. But they will be looking to get aggressive here, I, I believe, and just really try and delay to, uh, Amazing Team as much as possible. Here we go. Bastion already coming into play right here. Low tier God going to be the one on that. As Sexy charging around on his Genji. A nice little bit of mechanics there to get across to the bridge without using his double jump. But he's going to be able to protect his little Omnic minigun companion as he charges into the back line. And just having this Genji there is going to mean so much for the rest of his team. And in terms of defending that Bastion, it just means that there's that extra threat. They can't just focus on trying to get rid of the minigun. And look at that shield coming out immediately. Sky is going to be punished for trying to get that attack. Does manage to survive, though. And now we'll go for a flank. But here we go. Low tier God having to back away a little bit. He did run out of ammunition. And he's getting to get chased on down. And that will be Sky finishing him off. The Strategy seems to have been thwarted just a little bit here. Dragon Blade comes out, but gets shut down by Keys, who lands the hook and will finish off that player. Keys managing to survive against this Nano Boost, but there's the Earth Shatter, and that is going to be a charge. No, the Sleep Dart denies the charge completely. Beautiful little play coming out of there. And look at this. The Dragon Blade comes on out. There's three kills coming out for Sky. Wing finds two for himself. And what do you know about that? It is going to be TLR on a fantastic defense. I said where the Roadhog might be important. Keys has picked with what he is good with. And basically, as Roadhog there, he just absorbed all the damage that was coming out of RNG as that nano boosted Reinhardt. He said, look, you can hit me as many times as you want. I'm just going to heal myself up. He then got Earth Shattered. So not only did he waste his nano boost, he wasted his Earth Shatter as well on the Roadhog. And Keys still survived. Unbelievable stuff from him, just absorbing as much and using that health to his full advantage. I'm curious to see what the plan is going to be for uh, Amazing Team on this attack. Now wow. Sky again with the positioning just gets behind the uh, Reinhardt and that's going to be low tier. God put to sleep while he's in the Zarya shield and then they can just finish him off. Nice little deflect is going to deny a lot of the damage but in the end it's going to be JMC that shuts down the Bastion. And there goes Ninja Fuya as well. He will be dropped shortly. He does manage to get a shield for himself and actually that means he gets away with his life. 
but his life isn't enough right now because they need that payload to be moving and they just can't get control of it. They can't because Keyes is just the main man at the moment. He pulled Reinhardt from up above. They took Reinhardt out of the game. Then he went out after Anna, hooked Anna as well. So that was the two main kind of threats going forward that he took down first. So great work from Keyes. He's really the man that I, I want to be watching at the moment because he is just hooking absolutely everything. Graviton Surge will come out of Ninja Fewer, but Skytrix is going uh, to respond with the Dragon Blade here. He's going to be able to take out that McCree, and now he's going to be hunting everyone yeah. else, but he does run out of Nano Boost. Not good enough, though, because Sexy on the other side has managed to take three kills with his Dragon Blade. So, all in all, that's definitely a trade that Amazing Team are going to be winning out on, and that means they finally get to this first checkpoint. Not a convincing time, a lot slower than what we saw out of TLR, but if they can keep it up for the rest of the game now, if they can keep this momentum rolling for themselves, they'll be looking at a very similar time to what TLR finished on, because, you know, that defense right there, I'd, I'd estimate that that was about the same amount of time that Amazing Team stalled on that final checkpoint. Yeah, it, it, was a, it was a great push as well, and what I loved after they had got that first checkpoint, Orangey got aggressive and he managed to take down Space as Lucio, so it allowed them to push this payload even further, closer to this second uh, checkpoint, and we will now see teams try and contest for this ship uh, up here. You can see that Keys is just... Uh, Sky, sorry, is trying to have a battle here, to try, basically with the other, other Genji, just to try and get height advantage. Height advantage is so important in this current point of the map. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Dragon Blade going to come on through. There's going to be a nice Graviton Surge, but all in all, it is going to be Can Scout swinging that hammer around and TLR getting the team ace for themselves. When there's a, a Graviton Surges for both teams and all of the ultimates being popped, it's so difficult to work out what's going on. And I can only imagine what it's like as a player in that scenario to try and get control of that situation. You're trying to work as a team, you're trying to coordinate. But when you all get locked up in the CC, when all of their ultimates are coming on through as well, it's so difficult to keep you cool in that situation. Here we go, though. Nano Boost coming on out. Can Scout going to get finished off as Orange G charging on forwards. Would be able to finish off the Lucio and will be able to do so. Space goes down. There's a nice little hook, but you can't finish off the Reinhardt right now. He is so, so tanky. And we'll be able to block most of that whole hog as well. Amazing team managing to take control of this situation. And it's a lot down to RNG on top of Flair's ultimate. And this is what Endpoint were doing to TLR. They were saying, look, you guys can Ana boost first. And once you've done so, then we're going to make our push. Then we're going to be making the most of this situation of the map. We see both Reinhardt's just charging in there. But Kanskar will get taken down. Keys does survive. He's going to try and hook as anyone they can find. But Graviton oh, Surge is going to come down and suck in the whole of TLR. Yeah, they should be able to get finished off as well. JMC gets taken out. Low tier God with two. It's going to be Sexy and RNG as well. In fact, Sexy grabs himself too. That's the second checkpoint. They've still got two minutes and 37 seconds to work with. They're not going to have as good of a time as TLR, but if they can just push it on in, it's going to be close enough to not really matter when we move into the overtime. However, it's not over just yet. TLR, they're still in this one. If they can just hold on, if they can somehow stall this, they will be able to just win the map outright. However, they don't have any ultimates right now. Flares has that nano boost and Sexy has that Dragon Blade. That is a terrifying combo to be looking at. And there goes the nano boost onto the Reinhardt. It's going to be nano boost versus nano boost, but they ignore each other and look for other kills. That is going to be Wing taken on down. And RNG looking to finish off more players as well. But Key's just leaping on out of the situation, trying to get back into the fight once again. But he's not got all that much health to be shouting about. And this should be another kill going the way of Ninja Fuya as he takes out JMC. And look at this fight. In the end, I think it might be going the way of Amazing Team. They're picking up kills left, right, and center. Orangey just about surviving this one. Very, very low, but there's no more players left to kill him now. Earthshatter available. Look at all the ultimates available. Earthshatter, you've got, uh, you've got Deadeye as well coming on through. JMC is going to be finished off here in the end. Deadeye comes on through to stop anyone else reinforcing at this stage. They're all out of contestion. The payload is going to push on through. And no, it's contested at the last second, one meter away. If they could just hold on to this and keep on pushing, they've still got a minute in 10 though. It's gonna be so difficult. They need an ace or it's gonna be over right now. And with the nano boost onto RNG, I don't see any way that this can happen for TLR. They're just continuing to finish off these kills. There's another four coming on out. It's only Can Scout remaining on that Diva. He's gonna be finished off and that is going to be the payload pushed on in. An amazing team. It's not a convincing score but they've managed to even things up. 
Yeah, TLR did really well to delay that for as long as possible. We saw Keyes switch from Roadhog to Winston just to make sure he could get to that payload as quick as possible just to try and keep Amazing Team off it. But Amazing Team saved their ultimates very well for those team fights. They took a team fight nice and early. I believe that they are just kind of keeping track of their opposition's ultimates. They said, look, they've just used four, so that means they're going to have very little compared to our four. So make sure let's push in now, let's take the fight to them, and then we're always going to be ahead of them when it comes to these ultimate battles. And this is going to be a repeat of what we saw in map one. Both teams tied up with 3-3, TLR with the better scoreline, with the better time, in fact. But TLR weren't able to capitalize on that in map one on Dorado, so it's whether they're going to be able to do so this time here on Watchpoint Gibraltar. Absolutely. And I mean, well, Dan, we were talking before broadcast today and saying this is going to be a really close rematch, and we both kind of agreed that TLR were the favorites coming in, but we have been absolutely blessed with this series because this has been so incredibly close between these two teams. And honestly, moving on into the grand finals against Endpoint, You've got to give Endpoint the favorite, but whichever one of these teams goes forward, I don't think it makes a difference at this stage. I was thinking that TLR would have a better shot, but looking at how these guys are playing today, I think it's going to be very similar whichever team manages to win. Yeah, definitely. They're both just performing out of their skin at the moment. As we will see, Sexy again on that Genji. He was doing work with it last time, so I'm not surprised he's going with it again. Winston will come out of keys rather than the Roadhog this time. So he's going to just say, look, I'm going to get aggressive. I'm not going to go for those pulls this time. They're really going to change up how they're going to uh, approach this one. Absolutely. Defensive positioning coming out from TLR. They're holding quite far forward and actually they've pushed past the payload now it's going to be sky trying to get hold of sexy right now and trying to just survive but sexy finishes them off flares found one as well and it's going to be amazing team managing to take control as they get two kills for themselves and sexy looking to turn it into more if you can just land those shurikens but he finds wing on the retreat as well flares grabbed himself a second kill and this is going to be amazing team starting things off just about right for themselves they've only got 10 seconds to find this checkpoint though and then we'll be into overtime they've got to make this happen for themselves just a couple more meters will do it and here comes the counter push key's going to be on the offensive the knockdown only hits onto ninja fuya and he's back up again already orangey does go down though is the nano boost going to be going on the way onto uh, Ninja Fuya, but in fact it doesn't in the end. Wing and JMC though, the last two remaining right here. It is going to be them going down as well. Wing, there's nothing he can do in this situation, not against six players. And there we have it, amazing team pushing it on in. They get that first checkpoint. What can they do in this overtime though? They just need to stick on this payload. They just need to survive and get this as far as possible. They need to make sure they stick together and not kind of flank off and let anyone die here so that there can be an, any sort of advantage for TLR. Sky ne uh, Sexy needs to be careful actually with this Genji and not get picked off early because if he does then there will be the advantage for TLR and TLR will then look in and get aggressive. TLR now are going to try and save some ultimates and they will choose when they want to pick this fight. They're only going to pick a fight when they know they are going to win. They're not going to want to be able to die and respawn and allow this to get any further from Amazing Team. Well, low tier gods start things off right already and there's the sound barrier as well. Sexy trying to get to the back line, but it's going to be Keys with the Primal Rage. If he uses this one, he might be able to just knock them off the payload and that's all they need to do right now to end this overtime. They don't have to win the fight. They just have to get them off the payload. He's not going to be able to do so just yet though. Disastrous situation for him. Graviton Surge available for Ninja Fuya, but I don't think he even needs to use it because the rest of the team is already gone down. An amazing team, they're keeping on top of things. In this overtime, they might be able to get a second checkpoint for themselves. This is actually ridiculous coming out from them. He's contested though, they've managed to get a couple of players coming on in here. Sky trying to do what he can with that Dragon Blade, 42 HP, but still surviving as he takes down Healbot. There's another one coming their way as the Nano Boost is on to RNG, who gets three for himself. Low Tier God finds another, and there's one for RNG. That's just another checkpoint. This overtime seemingly endless right now for Amazing Team. They found this extra little resource of just oomph to work with. Yeah, TLR into panic mode at the moment. You saw Can Scout use Earth Shatter just to try and delay, but it was basically useless when it could have been very effective in the next team fight. And now it's just Amazing Team are continuing to push this payload. They do have two ultimates to work with in Sexy and Orangey as well. They might even get to the third checkpoint. Dare I say it, if they get from checkpoint one to checkpoint three during overtime as breaking it down but now can scout is going to come in with the nano boost but he's swinging there's no one to hit because they've all spread out at the moment 
Yeah, one for one so far, but RNG manages to find one onto Sky as well. That's the Genji down. Can Scout on this front line trying to protect his team, but he's in trouble right now because Ninja Fuya has a lot of percent stacked up and will just melt through that health bar. And they're looking for more. These players are dropping like flies right now and TLR, they're running out of source. This might be a three cap, which is just insane. All in the overtime. Right now, amazing team are pulling something ridiculous out of the bag. I don't even know what to say about this performance. If they can pull this out, Later on today, if they can, I mean, they're setting the bar right now for yeah. TLR. It's going to be so difficult to beat this score. Ninja Fuya goes down, though. In the end, they do get the ace. They do get the team wipe. However, is that going to be enough? Two checkpoints and almost the third. Let's remember, TLR, they've got to be that distance. They essentially had to get the three cap. It took TLR a while to just combine a few of those ultimates really to win one of those team fights. We saw Graviton Surge come out into Earthshatter, but it just wasn't enough originally. TLR were just trying to do too much. The change to Winston was a strange one for me, considering how well they held during that first set of rotations with Keys as Roadhog. I was expecting him to stay that again, but clearly TLR had a game plan, was just to get in their face, try and delay them as much as possible, but it just wasn't working. His amazing team had an answer for everything, and now going forward, TLR really need to demonstrate their strength. They really need to get aggressive here and not allow amazing time even a sniff of winning any team fights. Well, it's certainly going to be a challenge for them, TLR. I mean, I feel like I've said it a few times this series because it has been so, so close, but they have got a mountain to climb right now here on Watchpoint Gibraltar. Amazing team. Honestly, the underdog in this series. This was the team that we weren't really expecting to be moving on to the finals. We were fully expecting last resort to be the ones to push forward, but amazing team are pulling it out of the bag right now. They've set a fantastic score, and now it's down to TLR to prove why they were the favorite coming in here and make this happen for their team. I'm pretty sure Sky just ran past a bunch of players and didn't notice. Uh, I'm not sure there was any there. I think that might have been one of his teammates. Because uh, it looks like Amazing Team are kind of taking a defensive position yeah. in the I room to the right there. Corridor, yeah, yeah they, they're choosing where they want to take this fight. They want to take it under the bridge. They want to force uh, TLR to come towards them. They're not getting aggressive. They're not getting their face. May, as low tier god, is just going to try and delay and try and separate anyone that they can. As we now see Ninja Fuya pushing in. He's not charged up too much, just 50% at the moment. But it's going to be enough to do damage as we move across to Wing as he's trying to get some work done with Tracer. Yeah, Sexy's managed to find two for himself as well. Well, Wing, he's got to find some kills right now. You've got to be that carry that your team needs because so far they're not winning out this fight. TLR have lost control of their payload. Disastrous situation considering how much they have to achieve during this overtime right now. They've only got a minute and 30 remaining. And well, they pretty much are running out of time where they can afford to lose team fights. Wing going around the back though. Just going to be able to get a couple of tags and then back away. I love what Lotus God is doing as well. He's getting up in the face of his opponent. He's got his ultimate ready because he knows that Blizzard could slow them down and we might see it come down. Actually, Lotus God is going to be nano boosted up here as May, so he's just going to run in and spray down everyone with his eyes. He's actually using the right click there. Fantastic aim from him. And this is great work from Amazing Team. I, why did you nano boost the May? Why not? It works. <laughs> guess. But either way, TLR couldn't deal with it. I'll give him that. Lotte got stepping up to the plate on May right there. Uh, a little bit of an interesting strategy, but I guess if it works, it works. And those ice walls have just been so obnoxious for TLR to be able to deal with. 40 seconds now remaining for them. Wing pushing on forwards. He's going to be the one in charge right now. The sound barrier did come on through, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough for them. Can Scout finally finishes. Finishes? Finds one. <laughs> Manages to find one. Can Scout now charging forward, doesn't quite connect though, and will get taken down in the end here. He's all on his own 31 HP right there. Graviton Surge out of JMC, who's looking to finish off these kills, but can't quite do it in the end. And this is going to continue to be contested. An amazing team look to be back in control once again. Yeah, and this is just great work from Amazing Team as well. They obviously had didn't have as much time TLR going forward, but Amazing Team took the defensive position under the bridge. They've used May efficiently. As we now see Gasperosity coming in from TLR, they're all going to start charging in. Can Scout comes in with a charge, but he's going to get taken down. Keys as Anna is even trying to stay alive now, but he goes down too. This could be the end, and I dare I say it, we will see TLR eliminated from the tournament. Well, I mean, who saw that coming? Congratulations, amazing team. What a performance coming out from them here 
on Watchpoint Gibraltar. Let's see the play of the game before we round things up. But I've got to say, amazing team. Just stellar performance coming out from them. That was actually incredible. But I, I don't even know who... Yeah, it's got to be Sky, surely, yeah. The Genji coming on through. Let's see. I would assume it's not actually a Dragon Blade. So let's see what this one is. In fact, just going to straight up slice some dice. Is a Dragon Blade. I'm telling complete porkies. But yeah, I mean... There were so many of those combos specifically, the Graviton Surge on top of the Dragon Blade, that kind of blender, I suppose. Like the, I wouldn't have even been able to call which one would have been player of the game because there were so many instances of that exact scenario. I think what was crazy was that both those payload games 